Did you know, by chance, that I have a pin for sale? She says Petty Betty, because let's be honest, we're all Petty Bettys at heart. If you'd be interested in this pin, the link to my shop is always in the description below. Hey everybody, and welcome back to another video on my channel. It's Kevin here, and I apologize for just screaming the word hey at you. If you watched my last video, it's my Preptober video, which I do with my sister, Laura 2.0, you'll know that NaNoWriMo is coming up. If you do not know what NaNoWriMo is, I'm surprised you clicked on this video. But really, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. It is writing 50,000 words in a month, the month of November, and it's gonna be insane. Honestly, I'm just like a little nervous, a little freaked out, because we'll get into why I'm freaked out. Uh, in a minute. So Natalia Lee, who is an author tuber, she came up with a NaNoWriMo tag. I'm talking a lot with my hands today. I don't know why. She came up with a NaNoWriMo tag, and so I decided I wanted to do it. I wanted to let the masses. I wanted all of you to be able to enjoy this video. Natalia's first question of, I'm gonna have to read off my phone because I'm bad at remembering things. I literally just read the sentence and I can't remember what I read. My phone will make an appearance in this video. How many times have you participated in NaNoWriMo? How many times have you won? So I actually had to look this up because in my last video I did, my Preptober Write With Me video, I actually misspoke and I thought I had only been doing NaNo for, for uh, I said five or six years. I've done it for seven. Now, I completely forgot about my first NaNo and I don't know how, but I, when I was like tallying them up in the last video, completely forgot about my first NaNo. It was like, it's a dystopian with paranormal stuff, and I still love the book very much. It'll never see the light of day, but I still love it. And I can't believe I forgot it. I feel very guilty to my book, baby. So how many years have I won? This is the reason why I am a little nervous wreck right now, because the first four years I did NaNo, I won. And then the last three, I failed. Eh. I failed for just numerous different reasons, like some personal, some not. I just, not even worth going into, but I am really hopeful for this nano because it's actually me working on a book that I started last year that I didn't finish, obviously. I only got 10,000 words in, but in my Preptober video, when I was started coming up with like doing the workbook, Natalia Lee's workbook, which go check out her video if you, if you, haven't, if you haven't seen it yet, go check it out. In that, when I was doing the workbook, I came up with like this storyline that I hadn't thought of before. And I was like, hmm, 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 hmm. And so now I'm very happy with the direction that this nano is headed now, this time. Last time it was a little all over the place, a little bit of ugh, but you know. Let's move on to the question two because this is already getting too long. And I apologize. The next question in the NaNoWriMo tag is, are you a pantser or plotter? Now this is, um, I am 100% a plotter. I work best when I plot out basically everything. A couple years ago, I plotted every single chapter, even like sub bullet points into the chapter. And I wrote that NaNo so quick. I think I was done early. I was really happy with where, like at the time I was really happy with that, I've since read it and I'm just like, you know. However, I wish I could be a pantser. And so I listened to these people talk about pantsing and how exciting it is not knowing like where your story is going or like random things come up. And as a plotter, I feel like I'm a loose plotter. That sounds like loose stool. I feel like even though I'm a plotter, I'm not really strict about it. Cause if a random storyline comes up in the middle of me writing, I'll incorporate it somehow or I'll go back and you know, well, I'll go back and fix the stuff that is not ruined, but I am not very strict about it. However, I do wish that I could try pantsing something. I pantsed, I actually did pants a nano, I think. It was like semi-planned, it was a planter. yeah. I, that novel's a mess. Like that one's been, that, that's gonna need a lot of work if, if I ever wanted to go anywhere. I just wish that I could be that kind of person that's like, this is what I'm writing and I don't know where it's going. I don't know how, I mean, I would have to know an ending because the kind of writer I am, I would need to know that which is because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a plotter. Next question. What are the titles of the projects that you have attempted, completed for past Nano? So I'm a little weird about titles actually. Um, I don't like to give them away. I don't really know why. I think it's because they're kind of like a baby to me. And it's kind of like if you had a baby name that you really liked and that was like really different and you gave it to a friend and they named their kid that, like you would have to like fight them in the streets. So 
I will give you some like more vague titles that I ref I often refer to my books by other names rather than the name I actually want to call it. Let's look at some of the past titles. I have to grab my laptop because I cannot remember crap. I can actually give you some of these because these are so just, this is my, like what I first called it. So my first Nano was Divided We Fall. Doesn't make any sense. Even knowing the manuscript it doesn't make any sense. The second one was called Barton Prep. Kind of makes sense. I guess. Holland's Park, that one doesn't make any sense again. I guess I come up with these titles like artificially and then when I'm like writing they just, I don't know. Yeah, I don't really have names for a lot of the other ones actually. I had one I was calling Mad Max thingy. I don't, couldn't tell you. Next question is what are you working on for this nano? So this nano this year I am working on a book I'm calling The Witch Book because I have no title for it and that is the honest truth. I cannot think of a title. This is the same thing I worked on last Nano, and I couldn't come up with the title last year either. I believe it was called, on Nano officially, it's called This Meets That with a little bit of magic because I literally could not think of a title. And that's kind of what it is because it's kind of like Charmed meets The Craft meets American Horror Story. And a little bit of magic doesn't make sense because it's a lot of bit of magic. Like, that's the whole thing. It's called The Witch Book because it is about a teenage witch. And that's what I'm gonna tell you. Also, he's gay, but I'm gay. I write gay stuff. Are you surprised that he's gay? I'm not surprised. Next is, what is one tip that you would give to someone else that is participating in Nano? So, especially if it is your first Nano, is make sure that you put in your word count every single night. So even if you only do 10 words, 100 words, or if you do 2,000 words, 3,000 words, and you're like, oh, I don't need to put it in because I know I'm on track. I would say put in your words every single night. It is a good motivator to see it go up or to see it not go up very much, to be like, oh, I need to write more. Oh, I'm actually doing this, you know? It's, it'll pump you up or motivate you, put a little fire under your Can I say it? I really do believe that seeing the progress will really help. So if you are like me, a visual person and a more, I'm not really, like when it comes to like writing, I actually prefer handwritten things. I don't write handwritten but I like seeing like I used to plot on uh, sticky notes and put them on the walls and stuff like that I actually still plot in a notebook I love visual things like especially on paper if you're a pen and paper kind of person I would also suggest that you just print up something and that you can write on and yeah does that make sense track your writing that's that's what I'll say that's my tip also write every day even if it's just a hundred words like I said 50 words 3,000 words write every single day of course Everyone's gonna have a day probably where they can't for one reason or another, like you have diarrhea or you're with your family on Thanksgiving, stuff like that, or whatever holiday you celebrate. I do not celebrate Thanksgiving, but also don't be super hard on yourself. I have a couple tips, I guess. Don't be super hard on yourself if you do have to skip a day, but try really hard to at least get in 10 words a day. Try really hard. I believe in you. Number six is what was the inspiration for this novel? Do you remember when the inspiration hit you? I guess my inspiration was I really liked Charm growing up. I used to watch it with my mom. And then American Horror Story Coven came out and I really liked that. And then I really liked the movie Craft growing up also. I don't know. I really always had a thing for witches and I'm like, hmm, what if it was a gay witch? What if he was a teenage gay witch? And I was like, hmm, I should write this because I wanted to. I honestly don't know when the inspiration hit me because I've had this idea for a couple of years. So I don't, I'm sorry. Some of my inspiration does hit me in like ways that I remember, like coming from, like I dreamed about one of them once, stuff like that, like, but this one, sorry. Number seven, Did, am I saying these wrong? Number seven, read the first sentence from your nano novel last year. And this nano novel last year is actually my nano that I'm gonna be working on this year, but I, I'll redo the first line anyway. So the first line is, I actually really like this first line. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it, but the first line was, after 14 years, I finally found my mom. Hmm. Intrigue? Mystery? Maybe. Wink. So because this is the same one as last year, I'll just go ahead and read you my first line from 2016 since it's a different project. And the first line of that one was, Alameda knew this was her one chance and if she didn't get away, they would kill her. Murder? Intrigue? Perhaps? Again? A wink? <laughs> Something I learned in my creative writing classes in college was to always have a very strong first line and so I spend a lot of time coming up with them even for my nanos even though you're not supposed to like 
thinking about it, overthinking just right, blah, 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 you know. I tend to really put a lot of thought into the first line. I just, something, and I don't know if they're good, but in my mind at the time they were good. So that's something I've learned in my, in my college creative writing classes was to really get a good first line going. Number eight. What do you plan to do with your manuscript after Nano? After Nano, I plan to never look at it. No, I'm kidding. After Nano, I will probably take like at least a month off from it because I do have other projects I'm working on, stuff with my agent, things like that. After that, I'll probably reread it, have a nice drink, and then get back to editing it. So I'll pro what I usually do is I reread through it and I like note down all the things I need to fix and then I go back through and fix everything. And then I'll probably reread it again and then go back through and fix some stuff. And then after that, I will send it to critique partners. Um, my sister being one of them, I have a couple of other critique partners, um, beta readers, things like that. So I'll send it to them, they'll send it back to me. I'll fix what they had to say, reread through it again, edit it one more time, and then I send it to my agent who usually has edits for me. So. Another tip for you is if you want to be a writer, get used to reading your own work because you will read it so many times like you'll lose count. I lost count. I've read one of my my first manuscript that got me my agent. I read that one dozens of times, like dozens and I'm ugh, dozens of times. So just get used to reading your work. Make sure you really love that story because you're going to read it at least six times. At the very minimum six times. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do with it. Eventually I end up in the hands of my agent and hopefully an editor, maybe one day, you. Hmm. Number nine, are you prepared for nano? Are you nervous? Which is two questions, Natalia. That's two questions. Am I prepared for nano? Kind of. I have started the workbook. Um, I have some vague ideas of what I'm doing. I still have a few days left, um, like a week, until nano actually starts to like get ready ready. But I would say I'm like 60 to 70% ready for nano. Am I nervous? Yes, extremely, extremely nervous, uh, of course, because I have failed the last three years. If I fail this year, I'll have failed the same amount I've won, and I don't want that. I want it to be on the upwards of winning, not even. So am I nervous? Yes, extremely. And I, yes. Extremely. And just as a little bonus for all you people watching this video, because this has not been seen outside of a few people, uh, this is my aesthetic for this book. This is something I had printed up, and I have it in my Preptober notebook so I can look at it. And yeah, that's a cheeky little sneak peek for you. If you made it this far into the video, Thank you for watching. Now it's time to tag people to do this video. I'm gonna tag my sister Laura 2.0, which I actually think that she's recording this video today too. It might be up at the same exact time as this video. If it is, oops. If it is, I will link it in the end card. If not, Laura, your turn. Also, besides Laura, I'm still trying to get more into AuthorTube, so a lot of people don't even know who I am. Congratulations, you're one of the first ones on the bandwagon. Bandwagon. That's it for this video, everybody. Thank you for watching again. Down below in the description will always be my Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff if you want to get in contact with me. I would love to hear from all of you. Comment below if you were doing nano and if you have your nano profile set up. Mine is also in the description below if you'd like to become a writing buddy. I can always use more writing buddies. I love you all. I'm not gonna say thanks again because I've said it two times already, but thanks for watching again. I'll see you all in the next video.